So I'm back. I am a little bit late for August favorites. I feel like I'm always late, but as you know, the East Coast got hit with Hurricane Irene. And I feel like in a lot of places it was overrated, but along the shore where I live, it was crazy. It was unlike anything we have ever seen or had. Someone posted a YouTube video that's about maybe seven minutes away from my house of the shore basically hitting these houses and it's crazy. I'm gonna provide a link in the bottom bar so you guys can go and check it out. We lost power for about a week. We lost it on Saturday night, I guess Sunday morning really and we didn't get it back until Thursday night. So we were out of power for a while and I was unable to make some videos. I, I'm aware that I'm late, but I'm also filming at night. So this is a little bit different lighting for me. So I'm trying to work with the lighting that I have. So bear with me with the lighting. Okay. During the month of August, I have some random favorites. First, we're gonna go with my favorite food of the moment. These skinny cow candies. I call them candies because they taste just like a candy. My mom bought these. They appeared in my cabinet and I never had tried them before, but look at them. They look amazing. So I said, okay, cool. We'll have one of these. And they come in this packet. I can show you. They come in like a little packet and there's maybe about five or six little clusters in there and they're just caramel filled it almost tastes like a cereal and it has caramel inside of it and it's milk chocolate but the best thing about these are they're 120 calories you feel like you're eating candy and they're supposed to be semi good for you now let's be honest they're not the best thing in the world for you but to eat something that normally after you would just feel guilty about to have them be only 120 calories per pack they're amazing i've been eating these things all month long they also have which i went to go grab for you guys but they're already gone from my cupboard and i only had about two so it just goes to show you the other three guys that live in this house are eating them too because they're just delicious they have these bars that are like these chocolate covered wafers they're almost like a candy bar they're delicious they're all gone so these are the only ones i have to show to you guys if you guys like chocolate you guys like candy highly recommend that and i'm not just saying it Hmm. Okay. A lot this month I have been using my Saint Tropez spray tan. It says instant self tanning spray, bronzing mist. I first heard of this company because I know Victoria Beckham uses this, but she uses the mousse. She doesn't use the spray. This is just the, the pump spray that you spray and I've been loving this stuff. I've recently stopped going tanning. It's just expensive. It's you know, scary, and I was a long time tanner. I still miss tanning. I mean, it's 20 minutes to yourself, and you just lay in a bed, and afterwards you just feel so good. I don't know. I still miss it, but the risk is not worth the reward. I haven't gone tanning once last month. I've just been sticking to this. It's just a very nice product. You can spray it on and rub it in, and not have to worry about having lines, tan lines. It does have that tanning spray smell which I know a lot of people don't like but I put it on before I go to bed I wake up in the morning I wash it off and you can't smell it so it doesn't stick with you the sprayer isn't the best quality I don't know if it's the one I have but I kind of really have to spray it to get any product out and I just spray it spray it, spray it and, and rub it along but I really don't have to be careful with this like you do other products probably because it's not as dark the first time you put it on it just provides like a nice like darker base and it's nice because you don't have to worry about streaking and discoloration and things like that I absolutely love this product but I've been really enjoying this for any of you who are into spray tanning I know this is a little bit of expensive but if you want one that you don't have to worry about and it's easy I definitely recommend this um sticking with the body I figured I can't talk about anything that has to do with my body for this month without mentioning my IVI sense in birthday cake because I clean this thing out this month which means I used it every single day it's absolutely gone the smell is still there and it's absolutely amazing. I love the way this stuff smells. Honestly, this smells like the best smelling birthday cake I've ever smelled in my life. I literally would not go to bed without putting this on first. I hate just feeling dry. I'm onto my Night in Shining Armor, which is um, just a different scent by this company, which is doing the job, but just every night I would put this on. Even Vinny would say, oh my God, you smell like a cake, like right before we went to bed. So now, like I said, I'm using Night in Shining Armor, which is more of like a floral fruity scent. It also smells good. So I thought I had to include this, seeing as how I ran totally out of it this month. Again, sticking with lotions and things, I wanted to show you guys. I know that these products are popular on YouTube. I hear a lot of people talking about them, but it's the 
True Blue Spa lotions. This is the one with paraffin in it. I really, really love this stuff. A lot of the times I actually, if I can't find this, I will tear apart my whole pocketbook just to find this over a million different other lotions because the one time you put this on, you never feel dry afterwards until you wash your hands. Then you might feel dry again and I always wanna reach for this because other lotions, you'll put them on and you'll still feel dry, like you have to reapply your lotion. But this stuff is so, so nice. It's very, very thick. So it definitely has like a thick consistency but it just goes right into the skin. I really love this stuff. One of the more, most moisturizing lotions I have ever used. Smells like oranges, has a very like citrusy scent to it. I'm really, really enjoying this. And I bought the small size because I heard a lot of the hype and I wasn't sure if I could believe it because I have so many lotions and my IVI Sense lotion, I absolutely love, but that's more of like a deep, deep moisturizing lotion on the go to keep on you hands are feeling dry this is the best stuff to use so i've been reaching for this almost every single day it is expensive this one's six dollars just for this little size which compared to the ivi sense you can see this is pretty small and then i also got the apricot and white tea supremely smooth face scrub it looks like that i've been using this a lot because you guys know i use my set of fill face wash every single day, but it really doesn't have any type of exfoliants in it. And that's fine because I don't want that on a daily basis because that was the problem I was running into with my proactive. But anyways, so I wanted to find a really nice exfoliator for my face to only use maybe once or twice a week. And I found this one and I really love it. It definitely has like a whipped consistency. It's very moisturizing on the face, but it does have those abrasive beads or you know, whatever they are, scrubbies. It definitely scrubs your face. Now I do like to use a physical exfoliant as well. And I'll use that at night and let that sit and then I'll wake up in the morning and I will use this. I like this stuff. I've been using it a lot, so I couldn't not include this. I wouldn't say it's my favorite all-time moisturizer, but I'm just about finished with my Clinique Moisture Surge, and I know I talked to you guys about this before. I just got this as a sample size. I've been using it every single day. As you guys can tell, I only have a little bit left, and that's saying a lot because I only use barely a pea size a uh, day and a little bit does go a long way with this product so I figured I have to throw this in here because it's been working out good for me. Nothing too crazy that I need to complain about. Next I had to include my EOS lip balm and this is in summer fruit i've been using this all the time as you can see i only have that much left and even vinnie has been using it because it's not like a lip gloss or anything like that you don't have to worry about any glossiness or shininess from this it's basically just a moisturizing lip balm which is good because you can just put it on i put it on before i go to bed it's even taken place of my Blistex, which I've used for years and years and years and years. But I'm able to put this on and feel just as moisturized. I don't know. I like it. For my last few things, they're basically random favorites that I wanted to throw in here. And the first favorite is a pen. I know, different. Why would I include a pen? But I heard NerberXO talk about these pens in a blog post, actually in a video too. And I mostly type, but when I do write, I want to write with something that's fun to write with. Is that weird? I'm not sure. Yeah. Do any of you feel that way? Let me know. I even took a picture of the pen that's on her blog so I could have it in my phone and then she started talking about pens. I was like, wow, I need to try that. So the next time I went to Staples, was I went in the pen aisle and I found this pen. I know, creepy, but I love this pen. If you guys like to have a pen that's very inky and very dark when you write with it, this is definitely one of those. I'm not sure how else to explain a pen. It's a pen, but it is my favorite pen. For my last favorite is just my Toms. I've showed you guys these before in outfit of the day, but I had to include these because I bought these in the month of August, and honestly, I, have, I haven't worn another pair of shoes since I bought these. They may not be the best looking thing in the world, and honestly, I don't care. They're just so comfortable. It's almost like you're not wearing a shoe, but as you wear them, they do stretch out. So they do form your feet really, really well. 
they're $40. The concept behind these are really, really nice because every pair that you buy, a, a pair also gets donated. So yeah, that's all my favorites. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, I'll talk to you guys soon.